Hi everybody, I'm Rob LaRocca. You know me. Welcome to my special Halloween video. Today is a full moon, and I'm going to talk about a movie starring Sherry Moon Zombie, The Lords of Salem. Now, if you haven't seen the movie, there will be some minor spoilers, but if you weren't planning to watch it anyway, maybe this will give you some incentive. I think Rob Zombie is the best modern American horror director. He's like the Tarantino of horror. You can tell that he's a huge fan of the genre. Lords of Salem is a story of witches, the devil, and rock and metal music. It's almost salacious in its appeal. One of the great things about the story is that Rob builds this world in which all kinds of crazy cool things exist at the same time. First, it's the story of a radio DJ, which seems like a direct reference to WKRP. And there are lots of 70s references. Manfred Mann's Blinded by the Light is playing when we see Heidi for the first time. <laughs> Heidi is a DJ at WIQZ, and we see a Jay Giles poster on the side of the building. That album, Bloodshot, was released in 1973. And when we get our first look inside the radio station, they're playing Give It To Me Baby by Rick James. This is a really neat little touch because one of the songs on Bloodshot was Give It To Me. Different song, but a very similar name. And this is what I mean about a lot of things existing at the same time. Give It To Me Baby is a song from 1981, and the song they play after that is Spirit of the Radio by Rush, which was released in 1980. Rush. Woo! Soon after that, we see the H-Team interviewing a Count Gorgoth from the band Leviathan. This, again, is a mix of references. So Rob Zombie is referencing the band Gorgoroth, Varg Vilkernes, and Glenn Benton all in one shot. And of course we see corpse paint a few different times in the movie. There are some good jokes in the movie, like the name of the radio station, and one scene in which Heidi is out walking her dog, and we see a mummified corpse walking a goat through a graveyard. That's funny. There are a lot of familiar faces in this movie, like Maria Conchito Alonso, I love that. It's another thing that reminds me of Tarantino. The Lords of Salem was released in April of 2013. I can't believe it's been so long ago. When it was released, I was so afraid that they wouldn't show it in Austin where I was living. But they did show it at the Fandango Movie Theater. I remember one of the ushers, who was a young teenage boy, being afraid to even hear the sounds coming out of the theater. In a way, I almost felt like that movie was just for me. When I watched it, there were only two other people in the theater, and they came in late and sat all the way in the back, so it felt like I was watching it alone in a deserted playhouse. Also, of course, the film is by Rob Zombie, and strangely, the main character's name is La Rock. And that's so close, it's scary. Well, thanks for watching my video. I hope you have a great Halloween.